What is up, Connect 7 family? I am back this week. I know last week I did not make an episode because I really just needed to just listen to myself and just get these messages, these healings, these times to self-reflect. It was just a lot of good things that was happening. And I wanted to follow something that I wanted to change as far as like my health when it comes, when it came to moving to New Zealand. And one of those things were just like relating to my health was just like having that balance in life. Because in the States, I would always just like work, work, work myself. And it was just like, yeah, let's listen to your body and take a moment to just self-reflect on some things. And so I'm going to talk to you about that in this episode. So welcome to season three, episode five, letting people go. Now, whew, this has been a tough topic for me because it really involved like some people whose name I cannot mention, but it has involved some people where it's 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 put me in in a place to self-reflect and get the lessons that I needed to. And I say all of that because TikTok was TikTok and boy, TikTok was like, yeah, we picking up on a universe, we picking up on the spirits, whatever it may be. And it was just like, so we're going to send you, we're going to flood your for you page with just t- videos on letting people go. Why you need to let people go? What are the signs of you letting people go? And I'm just like, okay, okay, I get the message. Let me sit the hell down and listen. And so the, the I'm going to start off with the lesson right, that I gained in this time. The biggest lesson for me is that you cannot take the people that you want, right? You can't take the people that you want on your journey. Your journey is yours, okay? And there are places that you are meant to go alone, right? So in a shorter version, there's places that you meant to go that you can't take all these hoes with you, right? <laughs> So, yeah, we've had to talk about that because as a person who just really liked to connect with people, I was just like, yeah, like that person's cool, this, that, and the other. And and I, I make these friendships, right? And I make like really good connections. And I know, you know, the person that I am, I know what the things that I bring to the table, right? And one of those things is that, you know, once we get close, I'm going to start checking up on you like, hey, how are you doing? How's things? You know, we talked last time about so and so, you know, what's the update with, you know, where you at? You know, how are you feeling inside today? You know, are you happy? Like, I, I'm the type of friend I'm going to ask you those serious questions because, again, I genuinely care and I want to know how you're doing. And. I know with the skills and things that I've gained, the abilities, gifts, whatever you want to call them, I, you know, pick up a lot of things that are not said, or as you say, in between the lines. So tying into the one of the lessons that I've had to learn with you can't take people, you know, on your journey and you have to let people go is for me, and this may be for a lot of y'all out there too. And then there's some of y'all that just don't give a fuck about people. Y'all just don't really, you know, chill with them. But that's okay. That's okay. But the biggest one for me was that I needed to stop being the one to reach out to people all the time. So that was very hard for me because I was the type. And and it's still fresh. It's still new. So I can't say was. But you know what? We're going to say was because I'm going to speak future tense here. I'm going to speak those affirmations over me. But I was the type where... If I haven't spoke with a friend of mine that I'm close, like we're close, close, like you can come into my house, fix you something to eat, cook you a whole meal, talk to me for a few minutes and go type thing. Like that's how close we are. You practically are like a a relative, right? So I say all this to say that after a few days, maybe a week, if we haven't spoken in some time, I'm going to send you some wild ass text like... I'm going to send you like a text of like, obviously, the big you with obviously is more important to me. Like, I'm going to say some wild. So like, it depends on the friend. I will just say some crazy stuff. Like, I will even text some friends like, 
So is it me? Are we breaking up? Was it something that I said? Is it something that I'm not doing? Like my friends would be like, what are you talking about? I'm like, obviously something's up because we're not talking. So I feel some type of way. Right. Now, (laughs) I say all of that to say that I had to be, I had to learn. One of my biggest lessons was like, I had to really learn to just, again, stop being the one to reach out to people all the time because what I knew and I didn't want to face it was that if I stopped reaching out to other people, I knew that majority of them would not do the same for me. And it's not saying like ever, but it it wouldn't be like, you know, I would say at the caliber that I do it for others. So like we're close. I at least want to hear from you at least like once out the week. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you got to tell me everything, but like, you know, if we're close and we're cool and I care, I want to know how you're doing because life out here be beating people ass. So I'm just trying to, you know, not beat your ass and talk to you a little bit. Let's help you beat life ass a little bit because, you know, life likes to be on the rough side. Right. So, you know, maybe life, you know, is into that rough stuff. Anyways, that's the type of person that I was. So I knew that that would be the case. And so. I'm going to say this, too, because I got to throw this in there. Most of us, 99% of us be knowing that. And, yeah, I said it, be knowing. 99% of us be knowing that, like, there's that inner voice, that that common sense that's like, you know if you stop doing this, none of these holes ain't going to reach out to you, right? But I didn't want to, I didn't want to, like, face that. And so it was just like, I had to face it, and I knew it. And so... This became a big thing because moving to New Zealand, I did feel a bit of guilt. And that guilt was just related to like, you know, damn, like all my close friends are there and I wish I could bring them with me or I feel like and I and the guilt was more like I felt like I left them. And I feel like, you know, yes, they have things going on, but like I left them in the middle of all of that. And so there was guilt because it was just like, I want you to be here, but I I, I can't bring you here. I don't, you know, I didn't I ain't had the finances yet to be like, yeah, we finna just bring move y'all over here. You know what I mean? But it was just that guilt of moving and my close friends couldn't come with me and so I just held that guilt of like dang I feel kind of bad but I had to work through that where it was just like no don't feel bad because again as I stated with the lesson that I got is that you can't take everybody on your journey there are places that you are meant to go alone there are places that you are meant to go that other people cannot come with you and in this case you know I'm not saying that my some of my friends can't come here but it's just at this moment in time, like it's meant for me to like go, you know, and do what I have to do. So I had some guilt with that. And this now going back with what I said, the first thing that I had to do was stop being the one to reach out to people all the time because it was the fact that I'm here. I was running off of the guilt of let me stay in contact with them. Let me kind of adjust my schedule so that I can wake up a little bit earlier because it'll still be um, uh, adequate time in the States, you know, to be able to, you know, check up on my friends and talk with them. And it was just like, I knew that it was like, yeah, no, you need to stop doing that and, you know, live your life. Because it's not saying that a lot of my friends, um, did not reach out, but it's like, of course, in those first few weeks, you know, it happens, but it's just like, I had to be the one to like, okay, let me stop. And I noticed that since I have stopped, and when I say this, I know some of my friends listen to this podcast. When I say this, this is like literally not at nobody. And this isn't at anyone specifically, right? Life is life. We're all grown here. But like, I noticed that when I stopped reaching out, Mm, I wasn't getting those messages, you know what I mean? How you been? And it's been a few, so like family members and stuff, you know, family, 
that that's really been the ones that's been reaching out. And it's just been like, this is something that I knew, but it was very hard for me to face. And I didn't want to face it. But having this time of like peace and self-reflection, I noticed that I was running off of guilt and I needed to stop that. So if you're the type of person who is always being the one to reach out, I guarantee you, if you stop that, you will notice about mm, probably about a good 95 percent of those same people will not reach out to you Um, again. I will say this because we're all adults here. We all have jobs. We all have our lives. We all have our different things we're working through navigating on. And and that doesn't mean that we're going to talk to our friends every day. Hell, every week. That's okay. I just know that for some of us who reaches out all the time that we need to like slow that down and get that balance of those people that you care for reaching out and checking up on you. And I say I say stop being the one to reach out all the time and I I'm, I don't want to say don't do it, right? What I want to say what I what I really want to emphasize on this is have a balance like don't be the one to do it all the time. So stop being the one to do it 100% of the time, but get that balance to where you have those who, if you stop, they'll reach out to you and they genuinely want to know and you check up. And those are the people you kind of then focus your energy on, right? So again, just to make that clear, those who genuinely reach out to you when you stop because you got your own things going on, you can kind of cater that energy like, oh, you know, I'm good, this, that, and the other. And Y'all can keep that up, right? Which this is now going to lead into the second, like, lesson that I got in this whole, you can't take people with you. So part two of this is in this time of New Zealand, I've been having the time to self-reflect, like I said earlier, and there's been a lot of peace Right. It's been a lot of healing. It's been a lot of some traumas that's been coming up because I have the time to, you know, knock them out. So this one is just reevaluating some friendships and disconnecting from those that you need to. So that was been that has been a big thing that's come up. So that's the second part, reevaluating some friendships and disconnecting from those that you need to. Now. When I had to sit down and reevaluate some friends, um, whew, it required me to kind of like get out of my feelings and really like look at the relationship for what it was. Um, I can't say any names, but there was uh, one person who um, we were cool before I left the States and things just ended weird with us. Like we didn't talk. And it was just weird. I reached out, you know, to the individual. Uh, they're not the only one, but I reached out to the individual and we talked about it and things. But the vibe that I was feeling was just like, yeah, nah. And again, this is go. This goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like, you know, in the back of your mind, there are some people you just need to like let go and leave them where they're at. And it's 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 doesn't always have to be that they did something wrong, but it's just really listening to that intuition and really listening to like that vibe, right? And what I'm working on is stop like ignoring this shit that be in the back of my mind. And, you know, because I look at things with my my human eyes and I'm just like, yeah, but no. And it's just like my my the back of my mind is like, yeah, lead this hoe here. And I'm like, ooh. But it's a cool hole. And it's like, no, this is a hole you need to leave on the street. And I'm like, okay, do I leave him on the street near the house or the street where I, you know, you know, so then I started doing that in my mind. It's just like, bitch, you're, you're obviously with the delusional game. So for me, I had to really just sit back and just like, okay, let me reevaluate. And so with that relationship with the individual, I was just like, yeah, nah, I'm going to leave them where they're at. And so there were other friendships where I was really looking at it and I was just like, huh, I noticed that this is always the same pattern with this friendship. Every time I reach out to this person or they reach out to me, they always have a problem. 
there's something that they're always going through. And I'm pretty sure y'all have many friends that come to mind as I say this, you know, and it's just like sometimes it's like, yeah, like, you know, hey, I just want to hit, you know, hit you up, check up on you. How are you doing? And it's just like, damn, you really got a lot of stuff going on. So it's just like sometimes it's more of a checkup that I want to do and I don't have the capacity really to hear the heavy shit. It's just like, you know, bitch, are you alive? Okay, good. And that's that's all for me sometimes. And but then some people it's just like not only are you alive, but bitch, you ain't really liking that you alive right now. And it's just like I don't I can't I can't hear that right now. You know what I mean? It's so I'm laughing, but it's just like, come on now, let's be for real. Like, let's be fucking for real. Y'all have some friends like that. So it's it's really caused me to just reevaluate those relationships. And I was just like, yeah, these are people that I need to just let them figure their shit out. And I was talking to my girlfriend about this. And um, she was saying to me, she was just like, like, yeah, just you can all you can talk with them or like if you're a true friend and stuff like that, like you can tell them like, hey, you need to work on this. You need to work on that. And she brought up good points. But I was like, honestly, though, I was like, honestly, babe, it's not my that's really not like my job. (laughs) I'm not their therapist. Uh, it's it's not my job to tell this person to do this or to do that. At the end of the day, all of us are grown. And she and again, she threw in some points. Of like she was like, okay, not everybody was raised like you. And I was like, yes, yes, you're you're right, mind you. She was throwing excellent points, but I literally was just like, everything you said is good, but at the end of the day, I choose my peace. I choose to be in peace and. For those of my friends who, when we talk and and I've been learning too to ask the question of like, is this something that you need support on or do you need a solution? And it's just like, that just makes things easier where it's just like, what I mean by that is, okay, do you need support as in like, do you need me to just listen and let you vent and that's it? Okay, cool. Or do you need a solution to where... You're telling me this and you want me to give you a solution and we keep it, you know, you you work on it and we go from there. And so I've learned to ask those questions. But at the same time, I've learned that there's another option of I can choose my piece. Now, what that means is like I'm not being fake. I'm not saying, oh, my friend's going through this. Oh, like, oh, you suck. And I used to I used to make my I used to think that I was a bad person by like not helping them. Right. By not like finding the solutions by not going above and beyond, you know, to be like, okay, hey, bro, like this is how we're going to do it. And it's just like, yes, that's all well and good, but that's not something that I can do all the time with everybody. I have my own stuff. They have their own stuff. They are adults. They make their own choices. I make my own choices. It, it, it is what it is, but it's like at the end of the day, I choose my peace. And so in choosing my piece, she literally was like, you know what? You ain't wrong. I was like, yeah, because I'm like, honestly, I've been better <laughs> since I haven't done it. Like I'm, I, you know, it, it was just, it was, it really, again, it led to a lot of reevaluation of some people who took up a lot of energy, some people who, you know, they also gave that energy too. there. It was reciprocated. So it wasn't like a loss of energy. Um, you know, it, it it was people that I invested in and they invested in me. And there are some who I invested in and it, it takes a lot of energy. And it's just like, do I want to continue going down that route with them? And so this may sound like tough. This may sound kind of mean, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I would definitely say like it, it it's fucking life. Like you really have to take a moment to just look at your friendships and really reevaluate. Is this something that you want to continue to do? Is this a person that, you know, are they investing in your energy? Are they refilling your tank? And if they're not like, don't do what I did of like, well, they're not. But man, I've known them for so long. Like I'm loyal, this, that, and the other. And it's not saying it's not saying like to not be loyal, but it's just like don't let loyalty drain the fuck out of you. And for some people, that may sound very out of the box and that may sound like, yeah, nah, I can't go behind that. I can't I can't rock with that. But I will tell you, if you really honor your health and your peace, fam, you really gotta reevaluate how you distributing your energy. And if you wanna continue going that route, by all means do that. You know what I mean? Your energy. 
Um, what we saying now? That's your energy, Pookie. So do you. But for me, I was just like, yeah, nah. I really got to reevaluate. And some people, I can give that and it's reciprocated. We got that. Some who don't, I can't. Now, this is just based off some of the things that I've experienced in my life. So you may be going through something different than yours. But the whole point that I want you to take about this is take some time to reevaluate the friendships you currently have. Some continue to connect. Some disconnect their asses really quick. And I'm not going to say throw them away, but let life beat their ass away from you. You know, it is what it is. Now, we're going to go to the third part. And this has been this has been one that's kind of like been a little bit of a mind fuck for me. So the, the tip that I got from this, this third lesson, I'll say, was to stop looking in the past. Right. Look forward and be present now with the relationships forming in your life. Right. What the hell do I mean by that? So I would look like in the past with some of my friends where things would happen. Right. And I just did this mentally. Things would happen where I would be like kind of tired and I'm like, I, I, I need to check up on this person. So let me reach out and. What I would do, though I was tired, I would think like, damn, you know, this is pretty messed up. I shouldn't feel this way because, you know, back then I started thinking of the scenarios when I was going through it and I called them and they hit me up. And I was like looking in the past of like, like I was looking in the past to draw from that to give me the energy to like talk with some of some of like the friends that I had. And not only that, but again, moving to a new country like I was continuously looking in the past of like damn like I would see this and it makes me think of this friend or I would see that and it makes me think of them and and so it was like my my mental um focus was more towards like my friends back in the states and that's mostly kind of where I was and I really wasn't as focused here and not like looking at the relationships that was really forming because it was just like, damn, this reminds me of this friend or damn, I really wish that, you know, we had that connection like I do at home with this friend or, you know, it's like you're starting new, right? And you will go through that when you're moving to a new country. You got to start new. So I'm going to just bust that up before you now, boo-boo. So that was what I, that's what I mean. Like you would kind of continuously reflect on the past or you would wish this was like so-and-so from the past. Now, again, I really want to say that I'm not saying fuck all my friends in the States. Absolutely not. No. However, my friends are in the States. I am in a new country, which means there's things that I need to focus on and look forward here. My friends are there. They can come visit this, that, and the other. But since this is a, a very fresh move, I need to be in the moment and focus and look forward and be present now with the relationships that I am forming. And so it was kind of like mentally turning my head from like, like, yeah, it was literally just mentally turning my head in a different direction of like, okay, let me look forward, right? And then building the relationships, you know, that I am forming now. And it's like, you know, you already have the skills. You already did all of this with the friends that you did there. You're just doing the same thing, new people, new lifestyle, new lingos. It's all these different things you have to learn. But it's just like be more present in them, not compare them to you know, this friend or, oh, man, they remind me of so-and-so, like, ha, huh, like, we got to do this. And it's like, yeah, they, re they may remind you, but they're not them. So get to know them and not compare them to X, Y, and Z. And it's like, that was a bit of a time to, like, really reflect on that. Because I have, I do have, I have people that we've met here. And um, I'm going to say her name on here because she's too funny. But there's a friend um, that we met and she really reminds me of a friend of mine's name, Kiwi. And I was just like, gosh, you just give me that energy. Like, you know, this friend of mine is back at home. She's a cancer. They're both cancers. They're both funny. They're both they're, their mouths are hilarious. The, the slick shit they say. And I'm like, gosh, you really remind me. But it was like I had to stop comparing her to my friend Kiwi. And it was just like, 
Let me get to know this person as they are here. And so that was hard to do. So you may find like when you're making new relationships, I'm not saying that you have to move out of the country, but when you're making new relationships with people, you can't always focus and compare them to the people that you know or the people in the past, right? You have to be present and actively ask these people, you know, that you're getting to know different questions, you know, see how they learn things. Just be, the goal is just to be present and again, not compare. So that moves to like the fourth, the fourth thing, the fourth tip, the fourth lesson for me is you really have to just walk your path and listen to your intuition because you're going to get the answer. Now, I feel like we hear that and people are like, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. But let me let me really break that down to you because that may sound good, but that may be hard for a lot of y'all out here. And I really want to just talk about that and hone in on that for a moment. So what I mean by we're going to break this up, walk your path. Okay. That means you have your gut feeling and some of us have common sense developed. Some of us, but not so much. And that's okay. But I would like to say that the, the, the listeners that on this podcast definitely have the common sense. I, I must say the people that I am in contact with y'all, Y'all are amazing, right? Now, when you're walking your path, you know some things you're doing, it either feels right or it don't. We're going to keep it really simple like that. Some things feel right. Some things don't. And sometimes you're in that in-between where it's kind of like, I don't really know and I'm feeling a little lost, but it's okay. Kind of keep going. Take one step forward. You'll figure it out. Things will get back aligned. You'll be good. So that's kind of like what I mean by like walk your path. Like there's a there's a feeling, a direction, and maybe it's not a direction for you, but you know like okay, if I if I'm doing this, this kind of feels right. This kind of doesn't feel right. And what I say right or wrong is more like in alignment. Like this makes me feel like ha, huh, like I have my focus, I feel good. I feel like, you know, I'm getting a lot of good things back. Like I'm investing in this and this is what I'm getting back. So walk your path. Walk that direction. And then when I say, again, listening to your intuition, y'all, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a spirit talking to you and telling you to do this or your um, ancestor is saying this, that, and the other. It doesn't really have to be that difficult. You don't even have to be psychic. What I mean by listen to your intuition is I'm basically saying listen to your gut feeling. And 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 when I say listen, I want you to actively listen to that intuition. What the hell does he mean by actively listen? I'm starting needing I'm really starting needing y'all to like ask yourself certain questions and listen to that gut feeling. So what I mean is let's say you're you're thinking of going back to school, right? Ask yourself, should I be going back to school? Yes or no? And say, you know what? Yes, I feel like I should go back to school. And notice how you feel. Do you feel good or do you feel like something is like eh? Hold on. And you say, yeah, no, I don't feel like I go to school. Does that feel good? Or do you feel a bit of resistance somewhere in your body, right? You start asking yourself these these questions and kind of getting to know how your body, your gut and things respond. You start to learn how you navigate. And when you learn how you navigate, it makes getting answers to things much easier than Asking, you know, every Dick, Tom and Harry, you know, should I do this? Should I not? Should I ask my friend? Do I do like learn how to actively listen by asking yourselves these questions and learn how your body, you know, or your gut feeling responds to you when you're walking your path and you're doing your thing. Ask yourselves these questions and notice how you feel. Notice if what you're doing feels like it's in alignment with yourself or if it doesn't. Now, everybody is different. So I can only give you that step for you to discover, you know, take that 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 step and you discover more of like, okay, well, this worked for me. This doesn't work for me. I get these things better when I take a nap or I get things better when I go out exercising. Learn how you guys operate. Some of y'all are not the type to sit the hell down and, and ask yourselves these questions. Some of y'all are active. So that means y'all need to get y'all ass out there, run these streets, and ask yourself these questions. Feel good. 
think while you're running. Think while you're doing this and, and see how it feels. Let things come to you, whatever works for you. You know how you really operate. And that's the funny thing. A lot of us know, but it's like we're unsure. And how you get past that unsurety is just getting to know yourself. Ask yourself these questions and you will get the answer, right? One way or another, you will get the answer. Now, when it comes to, like I say, bringing it back to this lesson, whew, that you have to let people go and it's just you just can't take everybody with you on your journey is honestly, you, you again, it's what I said earlier. You're just called to go to places that many people cannot. And you may feel guilty like I did, but you'll learn to work through that. You are going to have some past like things that you were afraid of. That's going to take some courage. You'll get through that, too. You're going to have a lot of things come up and you may you may feel tested. You may feel unsure. You may feel lost. And that's OK. That's normal. That's all part of it. But there are people that you just can't take with you, no matter how much you love them, how long y'all known each other, how deep y'all been in them trenches. You just can't take them with you. And there are going to be feelings um, involved in that. Don't get stuck in them. Learn from them. You know, reflect what is it bringing out in you? What are you contributing to that you cannot do anymore? Meaning maybe, you know, you have to stop contributing this part of yourself and learn that maybe that's not how you really work. You may have to try a different skill. You may have to heal. You may have to really listen to some traumas that's been, you know, shut out, you know, some traumas that uh, you've been uh, avoiding since 13, 7, four. But yeah, um, it's going to take some time, guys. But ultimately, you're going to have people in your life who you're going to have to let go. And it's going to suck. And sometimes it's going to feel good as hell. But for those, I'm going to focus more on this. For those of you who have those close friends um, that you can't take on those journeys with you, all I can tell you is if they're really your true friends, they would not want you to not move forward with where you're being called to. They would not want you to ignore your calling. They wouldn't want you to ignore, you know, you following your path. And if they do feel some type of way, you really got to lead them holes on Broadway. That kind of rhymed. But you got to lead them holes on Broadway. And if there are those who do support it, let them support it. But understand that, you know, y'all friendships are going to probably change. The quality of it may change. It may not be calling them all the time or going to these places. It, it may be reduced to check-ins, text messages. But, hey, if they're your true friends, no matter what happens, no matter the distance, no matter the infrequencies of communication, if they're still your friends, they'll still connect with you. And so with that being said, guys, that has been these few weeks for me. I made it sound easy. But it, it, it wasn't. It, it really wasn't. I, I really had to uh, sit my ass in, in the bed a couple of times and, and, and really reflect on the things that I was doing and what I wasn't. And that's been a thing in itself, too. Like, I do record these episodes and, I, and I'm and i learning. That's a big thing. My girlfriend, she brought this up to me. Um, I'm learning that. I present myself as if nothing phases me or, you know, everything is always sunshines and daisies. And she will tell you, and I will definitely tell you, let me be the first one to tell you that it is definitely not that way. And I think the reason I pre I present myself, and it's not something that I do on purpose, but I think the reason I present myself that way is because I just have this strong will of like, well, bitch, we're going to figure it out because, yes, I'm going to bitch and I'm going to complain. I may want to cry and I may want to blow up the world all in 10 minutes or so, sometimes longer. And depending on how deep it is, your boy might be sad over here and I got to listen to my sad and depressed music because, you know, it got to hurt me a little more for me to get what I got to get. And then I'm going to come back and be like, okay. I have my moment. I'm going to put my, you know, my big boy pants on 
and and we're going to figure this shit out. It's going to suck. I'm going to want to probably punch a child, but you know what? I won't, but I'm going to feel like it, and I'm going to get through it. And it's just like a lot of people who be coming up on, you know, on their podcasts or coming up on their platforms, they may come off again like everything's all figured out. Nah, baby. I will tell you, we are all still figuring out our own shit. Some of us just have techniques and skills that we've developed to navigate through those things a bit easier than most. But I, I'm telling you, we all go through our own stuff. And so for me, it was hard because I didn't do an episode and that was really bothering me. And I had to really just take the time to reflect on, like I started off with this episode, take that time to reflect on you can do this again, but it's not good for your your mental health. Or you can listen, breathe, get these lessons because they're going to beat your ass one way or another. They can either beat your ass before you do this episode, while you're doing this episode, or after you're doing this episode. Either way, it's for the getting that ass. So you got to figure out what you want to do with this. So I decided to listen because I didn't want my ass beat. So... You know, that's what happened, guys. And um, I would like to say that I did not get my ass beat, but I did have to go deep with the emotions. Your boy rhyming lately. So with that being said, guys, that is what's been going on. Um, That is what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Definitely, I will say for those who are not like following me on, on TikTok, definitely do. All that's on the website and different things like that. Because I sometimes just be posting like some funny shit or thoughts that just come to mind. And it's just crazy. So definitely follow me on that. And then definitely check out the blogs um, that I'm posting. Just life lessons. Because some of you guys may not be listeners, but you're like readers. And it's just like, you know what? I love to read like a quick lesson so I don't get my ass beat this Thursday. Now, with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you go. Be good. Uh, Thank you for checking out this episode. Thank you for pressing play. I appreciate you guys. Um, I look forward to connecting with you guys again. And also a shout out to my listeners in India. I've been seeing that popping up as well, like the numbers rising over there. So shout out to you guys. Love you and appreciate you. All right, guys, I am out. Have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, evening, and we will connect soon. Later, later.